Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about microphones. I'm just back from a hike and I, I was using my uh, my go-to mic, which everyone always asks me about. It's this uh, tiny little uh, bow thing that's been uh, chopped to make a lightweight mic for portable. And um, I put a link into uh, Chris's channel. He's got a really good um, video on how to make it. Um, but unfortunately, I'm a bit addicted to collecting microphones for portable use, mainly thanks to... Uh, my uh, my uh, friend, amateur radio friend Adam, who keeps sending me a link every time a new microphone comes out, and I end up buying it. So if we start from the top, this is the Elocraft mic that um, that came with my KX2, which is an MH3. People say it's an Icom microphone that's been rebadged. I don't know because I don't have any Icom radios. Big and chunky, solid. Then there's this one. It's a Technofix, which is a lot cheaper, and um, I got this recently. And um, I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Um, and then Dave um, makes this beautiful little thing. And um, he's got a circuit board inside here that he's designed for this. And it's a TRRS cable that's detachable. So you could change it for any length that you like. Um, then we've got the K6 ARK kit which is basically a more sophisticated version of the little um, the bow thing. So this goes together and makes a tiny little microphone. I've had it for about a month, I haven't even built it yet. Um, and finally the bow thing, which is my, my go-to mic. So it is a bow thong uh, headset microphone. It's normally got a cable on it that goes up with the earpiece on it. So you chop that off and you rewire the plug slightly, depending on whether you're using a, a you know an Elecraft radio or a, or a you know, a true SDX or some of these things. Now, the one thing these microphones all share in common is they are electret microphones. So they don't need any polarizing power, but what they do need is two volts going up into the microphone, which uh, powers a preamp. And um, that's something you've got to be aware, aware of when um, when you're wiring one of these, if you're kind of building your own or converting a, a different microphone. Um, the radio that obviously I use a lot of the time, the KX2, provides that bias voltage, it's selectable in the uh, in the menus. So, you know, how to test these? Well, I've actually done some testing with these microphones. I, I, I've run them all through my oscilloscope, um, I've run them all through spectrum analyzer, compared voltage levels, all sorts of stuff. And they're pretty identical. So, you know, what's the difference? Well, I actually think that um, what I'm going to do as a final test is I'm going to go outside and um, I'm going to use the uh, the KX2 with a whip with the different microphones. Oh, by the way, the KX2 has got an, in an internal mic as well, so you can use it like a, a you know an HT. And um, I'm going to set up a receiver in the house and film the audio from the different microphones, and you tell me if you can notice any difference, right? I'm going to do this quite quickly, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, slight change of plan. I've actually gone and built the K6 ARK microphone, which took me about 15 minutes. It's very simple, just a few solder joints there. Uh, but to test it, I plugged it into my KX2 and I used the audio monitor whilst um, the radio is connected to a, a QRP dummy load. So I'm thinking what I'll do first is I will try each microphone using the audio monitor. I'll try not to get feedback and uh, we'll see if there's any difference in the audio. The other thing as well is obviously if you're a portable operator you're interested in probably the weight of these so I'm going to put a table on the screen at some point during this video showing you the, the weight because obviously weight and bulk make a difference when you're uh, maybe on a portable de-expedition type thing. Right, I'm going to start with the biggest mic so we'll, we'll do the Elecraft one and, and then we'll work our way down uh, this will be the second last one and I suspect the lightest one is probably still the, the bow thing. Now you can change all the settings and you know, microphone, microphone gain, all this kind of stuff. I'm just going to leave it in a, a mid setting for all the mics. I'm not going to change anything. So just listen to the audio and see what it's like. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India audio test of the Elecraft microphone. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India audio test of the Technofix microphone. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India test of the Dave M0JKS microphone. This is 
is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India, a test of the K6 ARK microphone. This is Mike Mike Zero Echo Foxtrot India, test of the Balfang microphone. Okay, outside now, so I've got the KX2 with me and a, a 10 meter whip, well it's a CB whip but it'll tune. Um, you can tell it's getting a bit warmer because the cat, Humphrey, has decided that um, He's going to sleep on the black checker plate bonnet of the Land Rover today. today. Yeah, easy life. Okay, so I'm going to set this camera up indoors facing my old uh, Yesu FT847 and um, we'll see how the audio reports. And I'll do them in the same order, starting from the Elecraft and finishing up with the smallest mic. Actually, I'll do the uh, internal microphone on this as well. And then We'll talk about other things you need to consider when choosing a microphone. Well, that was a surprise, quite a difference there. Now, it is difficult to, to judge this, so I was using one watt on 10 meter band, my antennas at the bottom of the garden, so, you know, 30, 40 meters away. It's not really a long distance test, is it? But it lets you know what they sound like on a single sideband. Uh, interestingly, the internal microphone on the uh, KX2 sounded pretty clear. However, that's quite impractical to use in most scenarios. So what else do we need to consider? Well, your, your operating conditions and your operating style. If I'm doing a, a pota or a picnic bench type operation like, um, you know, bunkers on the air or something like that, then the big microphones are perfect for that because they're, um, you know, they're a lot easier to use. They're a bit more ergonomic. The, the, the um, Elecraft one's got the uh, up and down channel buttons on it and the Technofix, you know, is roughly the same size. These are also quite good if you're, um, doing something in winter if you've got heavy gloves on because I do find the tiny microphones it, it's quite hard to um, operate them with gloves and sometimes I find that my audio drops out because I've let go of the PTT momentarily and you've kind of got to find it with your finger again so um, these microphones are, are good for that kind of uh, situation obviously the Elecraft one's very expensive I think UK it's about 70 or 80 pounds the Technofix one's about 20 pounds uh, then we come on to Dave M Zero JKS so very flexible because it's got a removable um, audio lead. It's uh, very well built. It's also got the um, channel up and down buttons on the on the front of it there. And you know, Dave Dave uh, sent me this to test. Um, he didn't charge me for it, so thanks, Dave. Um, and it's a brilliant microphone. I carry it in the little uh, velvet pouch that it uh, it came with, and um, I use it or I, I carry it as a spare microphone because it's quite small. Um, and it's, it's got a reasonable button on it as well, so you can you can actually work that with gloves. It's got quite a, a range of movement on it. And then the two lightweight ones that weigh about the same. So, you know, this, this is the original Bodge. It's five pounds um, microphone, just with a um, cable cut off, and then it rewired slightly at this. Um, now I've got a metal plug on here as well, which adds to the weight, but I wanted it to be robust. If I had a plastic plug, it would probably weigh about the same as the KS6ARK. So these are perfect lightweight microphones. I know some guys that do a lot of Morse, maybe don't do much sideband, carry a microphone like this. So they can, um, you know, just plug it in and make some voice contacts. Again, supporting uh, hams, you know, it's great. Uh, some of the stuff that Adam KR6, K6ARK does, and this is in a beautiful little printed... 3D printed plastic case. Um, again, it's pretty similar to operate in, in terms of the bow thing. So you need to let me know what you think. What do you use and um, what do you think the best value is and, the, and certainly the best performer? Um, what am I going to do? I'm certainly just going to continue as I have been, which is um, carrying, carrying maybe one of these and, um, and this one. Um, so I've, I've always got a backup microphone. Um, and if I'm doing anything different, extreme weather, 
uh, where I'm wearing my mountain mitts or uh, a bit more casual operating parks on the air, then it'll be one of these ones. And the final word is to um, Adam, please don't send me any more messages when um, this new microphone comes out that I can use with my KX2. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think. 7-3.